Hello, Brother Monero here. Welcome back to Ultimate Monero Dreadnoughts, where I'm taking a look at the uh, newish <laughs> hulls added in the Christmas update, so version 1.01 or 1.02. And uh, today I'm going to have a look at the French Armoured Cruisers. Now, they are basically upscaled versions of the battleships. This one is the Ironclad, and this one is the... Uh, Justice style one uh, with balconies, and this one is both. It's basically this one and this one mushed together. Uh, so we'll we're going to look at this thing, which is huge, and uh, see what we can build. <laughs> this is nineteen nineteen, by the way, which is pretty late. That's actually a better tower than you might. I was expecting it's pretty good. You also get these nice thin ones. Which is pretty cool. And then we get these spindly little sci-fi esque ones. Or a more regular one. Um again, needs all the help you can get really. With this era of ship, that's just Look at that size of that thing. <laughs> um, now, what's interesting about this is it can have geared turbines and uh, auxiliary engines and things because, you know, we are actually uh, <laughs> in the interwar period. Do not... <laughs> Go around building armored cruisers, uh, one year, just one year before you get the heavy cruiser. It's not a good idea, but it's in interesting to see, you know, what what this <laughs> would actually be capable of. Ooh, that doesn't. That is a. That is a. That is a funnel. Look at that. Damn. Uh, again, so many funnels you could fit on this thing. I do think there is a two funnel set up somewhere. Yeah, with the smallest ones. <laughs> okay. Sure. It just looks disappointing. I mean, look how many funnels you could fit on this thing. You could be like, yeah. Triple funnel and maybe a dual funnel as well. No, not quite. Then if you go down to that one, then you get even more funnel. Look at that. <laughs> Just you never again, you'll never hit anything. Not in a million years. <laughs> it's not a funnel, it's three funnels stitched together. Uh, genius. Now, uh <laughs> gun wise. Go all the way up to an 11 inch, which is a Mark III, which is probably what I will do. If it fits, it does. But not on the back. Okay, so the back is our limit. Will you fit a 10? Nope. A 9? Nope. Oh, well, yes, if you put it there, but not there. So really, this thing is an 8 inch ship, is it? Even then, it's pushing it. Sevens? Really? No, not even a seven. It actually <laughs> prefers a six. <laughs> oh my goodness me. <laughs> this is just going to be a, a me build and a half. Right. Gonna spam high explosive at you. That's all it's gonna be able to do. Uh... Oh, I don't know what other guns we can fit in. Oh, really, a quad four inch? <laughs> Please tell me I can fit quad guns in on this somewhere. That is just a hilarious combination. <gasps> you can. <laughs> Up on the balconies. Oh, glorious. No, not there, though. 
Okay. Oh my... <laughs> what? Oh, that supposedly fits a two-inch gun. Cool. Ah. <laughs> oh my goodness. Why can you fit a gun there? <laughs> Makes little to no sense. But you can. Interesting, or sadly, I can't fit a two inch gun there. But I can fit a three inch, of course, because it's got a different design. <laughs> sure, yeah, that makes sense. Perfect sense. Right, well, now that we've scraped all of the uh, <laughs> guns we could find in the entirety of France and stuck them on this ship. Well, let's see if we can... <laughs> uh, oh my god. Get this thing to do anything sensible. Right. <laughs> uh, yeah, forced boilers, please. want it to go at any speed whatsoever. Armoured cruisers are not famous for going sensible speeds. We could get up to 24 knots, which is, whilst not great, not ludicrously terrible. Might have to get rid of that front torpedo launcher. Ditch the two inch quads for. Yeah, you were right. Um, I can fit more guns total if I take the quads off. It's just funny to see the, the quad guns. But all right, uh, two inch triples. And go for two. And you get six guns beside instead of a mere four. Can you fit uh, the three inch singles up there? No, sadly not. Quad twos? No, you can only fit the quads on the. Uh, pretty sure you can only fit them on the centers. Oh no, you can! Oh yes! <laughs> Even better. Who needs logical sense? <laughs> yes, it does look like it's designed by orcs. In fact, the orc. <laughs> oh my god. Right. Um, balancing this is going to be a nightmare. Turtle back on. Yeah, there's all sorts of fancy stuff to this. Got loads of weight left. Uh, Woohoo. <laughs> Which makes up for the... Uh, Piddliness of guns, quite considerably. Uh, can even have standard crew quarters, long, very long range. Oh, I'll get all sorts of stuff on this ship. Might even make it capable, which is uh, not something I was expecting to say. Maximum bulkheads, of course. Uh, let's take the torpedo launcher off the front. Does help with the weight distribution a little bit. And those ones. And those ones. So, yeah, basically I just have the ones at the back. Because I reckon. Oops. I'll move, yeah, the funnels around. be 
able to get something approaching balanced. <laughs> Doesn't look it, but it is. Ah, <laughs> oh, cheers for the post check. Le Gork. <laughs> yes. Le Gork. Le Gork. <laughs> uh. <laughs> and I'll point out that <laughs> we still have tons of weight left. Um. Yes, all the armor on these. Just armor everything up. I want everything armored. Super, super armored. Right. Um, let's go for an inch. No, what the hell? What am I talking about? An inch. You could totally get something stupid like a 12 inch. <laughs> 12 inch. Yeah, everywhere. <laughs> Oh, it is turtle back. Uh, two, 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 two. No, nah, it's pushing it. That really is pushing it. Uh, who needs deck armor? There we go. And more on the tower. Good. And we have four weight offset again. Fixed. Uh, still have a little bit left for armor. Uh, main belt. Why not? Perfectly sensible to have a 14 inch main belt. <laughs> yeah, there you go. <laughs> and 12.1 on the others. Try, try pitching against the convoy. So I, 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 I always uh, try it out against the same thing. So I'll go up against a pretty sure. Yeah, a heavier lightning destroy. <laughs> oh my goodness. Why? Just why? <laughs> Just. Oh. Right, here's the USA coming in with vaguely sensible ships, supposedly. Just needs cage masts. Uh. Well, actually, we should have fairly reasonable accuracy because I tried to make sure there wasn't too much in the way of smoke interference. We probably have pitch and roll that's not too bad. I'll check that actually when I get back into the designer. Focus on the chips. Oh, Swivel! Thank you for the resub. Thank you very, very much. Yeah. Where's the 
destroyers and things and what they did. Oh, destroyers out of ammunition. That's not good for you. That's very not good for you. Right, off to that light cruiser. Some hits on the uh, destroyer with uh, the various guns, including the yes quads. <laughs> quads, just the best thing ever. <laughs> like, uh, yeah, they go to destroy. It. <laughs> oh, quad! It's the quad guns. It just makes ships like this utterly hilarious. <laughs> the Salem, unfortunately, is very fast at 30 knots. The Macon is also nearly 30 knots. Probably means they have very, very bad accuracy. Even worse than me. Yeah. <laughs> Fuck off with that shit. No, forwards. Nah. Yeah, I don't have a front torpedo launcher. Which is a shame. Who needs it when you just have weight of bullets? Hi, it's smoke screen, are you? Yeah. Only a dozen forward cannons. Yeah, you can, you can smoke up, but it doesn't matter if we just saturate the area with shells. And we have a lot of them. <laughs> we still have 15,000 two-inch shells for the quad guns, for instance. Seems like a perfectly reasonable amount to me. Yeah, more torpedoes. Uh, you're getting predictable, sailor. hits. Turn them into uh, a sieve and they will sink. <laughs> uh, yeah, sure, I can give them a torpedo. There you go. Give them something to think about. Or not. Because they're dead.
Yes. This will be. This. I mean, it's always fun to imagine what would happen if a ship from an early era, you know, survived through. This would be a hilarious. Pretty much. I mean, 24 knots is not worst in the world, but it's not great. But can you imagine this thing just gonna just sitting in port? <laughs> um, being a yeah, just just float this thing over to where you need some AA cover, or covering and landing for AA would be handy. Captain of the Macon, I think, has uh, had a heart attack <laughs> from the number of bullets hitting his ship. How many hits has the Macon taken so far? Uh, 60. Nice. I'll give him a torpedo as well. Very unlikely to hit with that. Sometimes the AI does silly things. <laughs> yes, yeah. 12 inch belt. No, no, no. That's the extended belt, my friend. This thing is a 14 inch main belt. <laughs> Which, which is why I'm able to just sail up to this this thing and take virtually no damage at all. I think I think most of the stuff that's damaging is, you know, has has been from partials. I don't think they've gotten yeah they've gotten two here. They'll be on the guns because I can't armor the guns up anymore. Yes, I have used the ironclad Rishara. Um, <clears throat> if you rewind this stream or watch the stream back, I think it was the first one. Um, but uh, I am record <clears throat> excuse me, recording this, so it'll be up on YouTube in the next day or so. You won't have to wait long. Uh, send him another video. Compliments of the Orcs. Yeah, th yeah, it does. <laughs> it has a lot. It has a lot of armor, particularly that extended belt. It's an absolute pain to get rid of because it also has maximum bulkheads and it's torpedo something three, along with anti flood three. She'll just wear you down <laughs> through attrition. Switch to HE, all right. British and German ironclads. I, I do hope they add um, just more hulls in general, but uh, I'm not sure they will add those because the British and the Germans do have pre-dreadnought battleships already. Um, and armor cruisers and stuff like that. The main thing I'd like to see for the British, because obviously I, I, I play the British quite a lot, is um, light cruisers. They have one light cruiser hull, and it's terrible. <laughs> and it's the same light hull, it's the same light cruiser hull that everyone else gets. It's really not a not a good one. I got him with a torpedo. There we go. Look at that. Barely a scratch. <laughs> oh, dearie me. Le gork ou le moc. 
<laughs> ah, yes. Glorious. Uh, probably a complete waste of money if you built one of these in the campaign. But funny. Anyway, <laughs> uh, I will be back tomorrow with a look at the light cruiser version of this. And uh, I'll see you again soon for some more Ultimate Animal Treadnoughts. Bye for now.